Uh, honestly, I think this is a decent start. Alright, so send it that way. I'm just going to end my turn instead of wasting it. And let's be the Draconic Feet. So for anyone that doesn't know these things, the Magpie, if you end your turn with one gold free, then it'll take the gold and give it back to you at the start of the next turn. So it just lets you like bring gold forward. Uh, this guy, whenever he takes damage, it resets its attack to its health plus one. And this guy... Oh, that's a lot of Magpies. <laughs> and this guy, when... um, I don't know. Just read it. My words aren't coming out. Alright, so what I'm thinking is... Like, I could triple buy. I could triple buy and then we still have two left. <laughs> it's actually okay. So we can't actually save all of it, but we can save two. And that's kind of cool. I'm actually going to leave that to the front. Like, maybe they'll... Wait. But it's not excess. They're going to spend it for me. Right? End turn, spend up to one gold and gain it on the next turn. Like, this is... This should be safe. Yeah, there we go. I swear it doesn't normally give you a warning. I thought if it's like, if there's something that benefits from you skipping now, then it doesn't give you the warning. I mean, it be like losing it. They have my build, but stronger. <laughs> what happens with two items? Wait, with two teams that only have one goose with one attack. Oh, Terry's actually tested that. They literally just go infinite. Like, they will just bump into each other forever. It's not good. Well, not forever, because there's like a turn cap, like a hit cap. Once you have like 50 bumps, then it just like implodes. Anyway, we need to see what our next tier thing is. <laughs> My stocks. It's very good. It's not great yet, but it is very good. And honestly, I think I do try and get the magpie leveled up, maybe. Like, we have so many of them. It's already very big. I think I'll take this. Uh, yeah, we're buying that. Honestly, I'll probably just stack that there as well. I doubt I'm trying to save money here. I don't care about this. The lizard, we don't have any way to buff it yet, so I'll pass on that too. Oh, dude. <laughs> Stack it there. You may save me one gold. I'll let you do that. I'm not combining them, though. Goose only when? I'm trying to think. Like, we can maybe do goose only today. I'm just more, like, worried if it would go infinite. If, like, some people try, like, screw <laughs> for everyone else. But I don't think it would happen. Like, you can maybe bug out your own game, but I don't think it would ruin it for everyone else. You're late. What have you missed? Uh, just a lot of random builds in here. We did have one amazing one. We had one game where I had a... Where is it? Level 3 Manta Ray, and then 3 level 2 Birds of Paradise, and then I threw in another one at the end, and they were all like 50-50. <laughs> that, was, that was a good game. Alright, so I'm going to combine next turn, I think. Like, I'd rather see tier 4s. There's some nice ones. Psygrantalope is great. Slug is great. Dartfrog is great. Uh, there are other good things, but I don't care as much. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to buy the Sea Urchin. I think I probably abandoned this now, because it's not really doing that much for us. So, I like you. I'll be moving this if I don't find a better place for it. I'm not going for a level up. And... Honestly, we probably just, like, buy an egg. Because they, they will save me three gold. So, yeah, you can go there. Heal this guy up if he needs it. Yeah, so they should steal all my money. Which they did. Okay, great. What what is this team? <laughs> they have no attack. <laughs> what are they doing? Okay. Interesting team. I, I think it needs some work though. Okay. Uh, avocados, yeah, we're not interested. Like mustoxes are fine, but we need to see what we find first. Okay, we're doing we're doing slug mustox. We're just doing it. Alright. <laughs> Alright, this is great. This is big, but we don't really have synergy for it. Uh, I need to find more of these. I can't find more slugs, but... I don't know. Gonna head off Kino, but big love. <laughs> hope you have a nice rest of the stream and a good day. I hope you have a good day as well. See you later, Blanket. Hmm, yeah. Okay, let's roll. This buffs tier 3s. It would hit that. Which isn't bad, and I think I do take, because... It is targeted buffs on something we're probably going to keep for a while. Uh, sea Urchin. I don't actually care about this. When does the Chocolate Cake unlock? Next turn. So I could maybe sell the Sea Urchin and then like play two of these and then try and Chocolate Cake it later. It doesn't mean we don't get the Magpie value, but I don't think it really matters. So yeah, let's just like do that. 
See if we can get the level up. Oh, dude. <laughs> get this level up. Except now this might buff the, the fish, which isn't what I wanted. Okay, it didn't. We're okay. <laughs> oh, dude. I love the rocket entrance. It is too fast, but it's very cool. Also, this thing is going to be, like, scary in the late game. Yeah, we didn't lose, but, like... I feel like I really want to get a good stoat game. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, stoat. Test server account and live account are different. Yes, this is true. You have to make a new account on the test server. Do I do this? I do want to do that. But it's only good if it hits this. Like, if it hits that, then it's really not great. So maybe I don't invest and instead I wait for a tier 4 and then I can let it buff... Actually, no, it only buffed tier 4s. So it'd be buffing the slug. But <laughs> I think that's okay. Yeah, let's just, like, roll a bit. Still don't know if potatoes are any good. And you know what? I think I'll just, like, buy both of these while I'm here. Alright. Uh, I'm actually going to change it like this. I'd rather this get some extra stats than this slug. The slug really doesn't need it. Baboon is good. I've never actually used it properly, but I have a feeling it could be amazing. Like, especially once it's leveled up. Like, you can... It kind of enables pivoting easier. But it is decent scaling, especially once it's level 2. Yeah, this this combo is just great. And it'd be twice as good as this was leveled up. You have a hard monotron right now? Uh, I hope everything is okay. No, I don't care about this. I don't want to do a trumpet game. I think. Hmm, what sort of game do I want to do? Because I don't care about saving money across turns as much anymore. I need to find a good tier 4 to buff. Like, right now it's buffing this, which is <laughs> it's fine, but who knows. Isn't Avocado worse than level 3 Magpie? You're actually right. I completely forgot. <laughs> I'll just like, oh yeah, I just need to save money, but yeah. Yeah, that was definitely throwing away one gold for no reason. Like, this just It just is better than this, but let's look for other things for a while. I'm not going to freeze the chocolate cake. No, we need a good tier 4. Uh, Poison Dart Frog is definitely something we can do. We can maybe get rid of this and buff it instead. Yeah, we're going to try that. We're doing Poison Dart Frog. Alright, so we can take these. Dude, we already have the level up. And we can... I'm going to freeze the banana, but we need to find other things to make the Dart Frog build again. Alright, so I think everything is pretty good where it is. I can maybe throw this to the front. We probably want to get the Snipes off before anything else. But this is going to hit one of those two. I feel like Magpie could be good and bad, because you spend three each turn to get three gold the next turn. Resulting is still only using ten gold each turn. Yeah, but you can kind of delay the gold onto higher tiers, because like, I'd rather have like... I don't know, I'd rather have more gold at a higher tier shop than the current one, but it's... Yeah. Is Magpie, Magpie good? I don't think it's very good. <laughs> I think it's okay, I don't think it's like... game winning or anything. Yeah, I definitely didn't want that. Alright, I'm just gonna buy this. Uh, next turn? Again, I don't need to buy it this turn because the magpie will save my money. We could maybe go for like catfish, ringed octopus. Let's see what tier 6 we get. And maybe we can try and base a build off that. Like, we have a decent thing going at the moment. But, yeah. I'm also going to freeze that because we can find um, other stuff next turn. The Quitua Niala is. Combo goes hard. I imagine it does. I haven't really used the Nyala very much. I'm probably saying it wrong. Yeah. Wait, do you mean this thing? The Vaquitta. No, no, oh yeah, yeah, Vaquitta and Nyala. Yeah, 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 the tier 5. Tier 5 cow. I don't know. Alright, show me something cool. It's the Wildebeest. It is again a trumpet thing, which I don't care about. It's good if you can scale it, but it's just... I don't, I don't care about this. And we don't have scaling. Alright, but we do need a tier 5, because that's what this thing is going to buff. We can probably just, like, sell one of these two this turn, but... Yeah, I want to find something else. I'm going to sell the magpie. I feel like I'm not going to use that, and I'd still like to get a tier 6 from the better fish, so... Let's do it this way. Uh, No, no cuttlefish. I was... Yeah, I was thinking of, like, taking the slug, but I don't know if leveling this actually does anything anymore. Goose is overpowered when it has more HP. Or at least in the... Early middle game. What? I don't understand what you mean. This looks like it's walking straight out of Untitled Goose game. It really does. Alright, yeah. Still none of this. 
Cockatoo. Give three friends with a faint ability plus two plus one. Uh, we do have one friend with a faint ability. Well, two, but I'll be getting rid of that probably. I don't know. That's not a bad buy sell. But yeah, I'm not keeping it. I think. I think we really do need to find another tier five. Uh, white whale. Let's try it. All right. Do I need to give him any food? Eat shop food. Swallow the leftmost pet. All right. Let's see if I can find like a slug or something for him to eat. I haven't actually used this yet. But yeah, I'm gonna give him a chocolate. I think I could throw it on there, but nah. Hmm. Ring octopus. We could just buy the ring octopus, and maybe we can find um. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna do this. But a paradise <laughs> again. We don't have a way to earn money, so I don't think that matters. I'm just gonna leave everything where it is. We may get rid of the white whale again. I don't know. Go there. It can regain HP, but it has like no HP. Like it can regain up to six, well up to five HP, because it, you know, from one to six. But like that's not very good, because most things are just going to insta kill it to that HP. Thanks for the stream. Good night, good night, everyone. Good night, Jelly. Hope you sleep well. By the way, does Magpie count as spending money? I'm pretty sure it would. Where is Magpie? Spend up to one gold. It does say spend. So I guess that does have synergy with like, you know, Bird of Paradise and stuff. I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I want to, I want to have a blue ringed octopus game, but we're like so close to the finish anyway. Let's try it anyway. All right, I'm gonna get rid of this. I really don't care about that eating anything. I could like make it eat the slug and sell that and whatever else, but it's it's not worth it for one extra trigger. Like. We're doing other things. So I'm just going to get rid of this. I'm going to do this, and I'm hoping that I can get rid of the baboon or this and then buy a catfish next turn. So we're <laughs> going to look hard. I'm only buying that now because it does make it better once we get the catfish and oops, and other things. Hey. All right, freeze this, buy this. Catfish? Not a catfish. All right. But now this is level two, so the catfish will trigger that at the level two ability, I think. Yes. Yes, it will. Okay. <laughs> so this this could be a good setup. There is a chance we'll win before we get great value, though. Have I seen the lizard tail? I have. And it looks cool. It's funny. It has a little smile. Asking again, but Kino, when did you switch to 2 hours 30 minutes before your lobbies? I don't know what you mean. Today? I've said it like three times. I, I'm doing it today. Uh, yeah, no, anyway, we're pivoting. I can get rid of the baboon. I can get rid of this as well, but like... And I probably want to. What I want to do is just have one of these, like, very high level, and then I want to find a load of catfish, and then they can all just trigger that like, individually. Scale themselves with it. But yeah, baboon, I feel like, is going to be the most useless. Maybe not true, because I doubt I'm actually going to chocolate thing this. I'll, I'll try it. But yeah, all right. I'm going to keep the chocolate frozen. I could chocolate this and then do that, but I'd rather use chocolates on a catfish. I'm probably not buying a lot of other stuff. Yeah, catfish. Catfish or more of the same, please. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm just doing this right now. I don't care. All right. Am I dumb? I thought that was going to level up. I am... I'm not thinking very clearly, apparently. Alright. Uh, yeah, I think everything's okay where it is at the moment. I missed one. A catfish? I, I, I've i literally never bought one before, so I think they're not, like, in my head yet. Like, for most things, I can just be like, oh yeah, I'm on the lookout for, like, this color or something, because I know, like, roughly what it looks like already. Catfish is... yeah, it's different. Oh wait, that was another fish? Oh. Well, okay then. <laughs> I guess it's not a problem. So, we're only going to get this to go off once, and sadly this isn't level 3, so it's not even that incredible, but yeah. And honestly, waffles on this is also amazing, but I'm not going to bother. I'd rather find a chocolate, because then it's like a waffle every turn. Actually, no, that's not true. It's like a waffle every other turn or something. <laughs> it's still good. Now, the question is, does it, does it use the buy ability, or does it just trigger this one? So, like, will this just buff everything? Including the catfish, or will this buff everything instead? Let's have a look. Probably the final turn. 
All right. Oh, they got a similar team. I didn't even see. It's start of battle. We're not even... Oh, start of um, whatever it is. <laughs> start of turn. We're not even going to get to see it. We are going to get to see it. We lost. We lost one HP. We need the pet behind the catfish. Oh, God. It's not just a random one on the team. Activate by ability of the nearest friend behind. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. My mistake. Show me more catfish and a level up for this, though. Because I will swap, like, everything on my team. I know I'm rolling past the buy ability things, but I don't care. We need catfish. Oops. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, yeah, we don't need you. You buy another one of these. Uh, perfect. All right. <laughs> All right, this is good. We might lose again, but, like, this is the setup that I wanted. Just lose again? I mean, I probably will, but, like, it's going to start scaling soon. And see you later, Katara. Thank you. Uh, they already have an insane number of stuff. <laughs> Pretty sure that came from here, but that's kind of spooky. Yeah, okay. We've lost again. We only lose um, 1 HP, though, so... Dude, this is so nice. It feels so much better to just, like, just barely lose. Oh, look at that. The scaling. I will continue swapping these out. Like, <laughs> it's not even good. Like, this is scaling so slowly. I can't tell. I, I, I don't have enough money. Like, buying pitta bread or something is so much better. We probably do die if I try and swap these out. How does losing less HP work? It, it would take me too long to explain it, but it's basically just you only lose as much HP as there are enemies left, but not more than three. That's roughly how it is. It's not exact that, but yeah. Uh, bitter bread. We're buying pitta bread. I don't think we swap anything out. You know what? That's probably the final thing, so let's buy a waffle. All right, and send it again. Catfish only works on the pet right behind. Oh, God. Is this activate by ability of the nearest? But it says nearest. That should work. At least based on the text, I would have thought that would work. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, we don't take more damage from that, but we do take three. It has been working. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, they both worked. I'm just buying the waffle again. Like, the stats are big. Like, that's 12-12. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna leave that. Kind of sad I can't buy more of these. I know, like, doing that is fine, but it's only good if there are a lot more turns left. I'm going to leave the potato. I need to find, like, another pitta bread. I guess I'll... Oh, we're not going to die to a thing. Alright. Uh, four is our lowest. I guess I buy a pretzel. <laughs> I really don't want to buy a pretzel, though. Let's just, like, buy one of these, like, throw it to the front. So then this should hopefully, like, pop a pita bread and maybe we get some better value out of everything else. The right one doesn't trigger. Only the level 2 catfish triggers. Should move one catfish to the back. Well, no, because the left one is the better catfish. So if the one on the right isn't triggering, then it's not like it's a bad thing for me. Because the one on the right is the worst catfish. But hey, look, we got a win at least, even if everything was really janky. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't have enough, um, whatever it is. I can't tell when something isn't working. And what is this? Boudoir cap? Boudoir cap? I don't know. Looks strange. You thought nearest? It says nearest, but apparently it doesn't work that way. But again, there's a lot of things in the game that aren't working correctly at the moment, so. <laughs> it, it all depends. All right, we got two trumpet things to start. I think that is a good sign. I'll leave the possum, and we found another one. This won't do anything, because we only get one trumpet. But this is still fine. All right, let's be the moist tentacles. For no reason. You need to grind for these new things. I mean, it's the test server, though. Like, I don't actually care that much about getting new unlocks. Oh. <laughs> actually managed to trade. Also, my name is bouncing balls in, like, every game. I'm like I'm posting a video today and I'm going to notice the same thing. <laughs> it's so strange. I'm like locked in on that name for some reason. It's only working for the pet behind. Text does reads like first pets. First pet anywhere behind. Yeah. Because I, I know there are other ones. I've said this a few times now, but what is it? 
Yeah, this one. Like, friend ahead hurt. I At first, I assumed that meant any friend ahead hurt, but then I learned that it wasn't. But at the very least, the catfish, it says the nearest friend behind. Oh, no, I guess that is, like, similar. Because it could mean literally just the nearest friend behind. It's not the nearest friend behind that has a buy ability. Okay, so I can see that. So you can only have one catfish, then. Maybe that is intentional, and I'm just... Not very smirt. Let's combine some of these. Slap those together, buy this again. Yeah, and the running jumpers of the enemy team. Will be your new user. What? So it's always just bouncing balls and running jumpers. Is this the same for everyone, or is it just like just me and people get get locked in on random names? Then <laughs> pack them. Thank you for the two months. Appreciate it. Same for you too. Also, it's the same for everyone. Very strange, but anyway, combo. It's a thing. It's a trumpet thing. All right, we take that. I. There's no way this thing is worth keeping. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that behind. I think we're going to be looking for um any tier two trumpet things. So this guy and I think there's something else. Is there something else? Oh yeah, the squid. Right. No. Squid. Actually, no. Let's go for a level up first. I'll just, like, freeze the other one. Unless I combine there and buy another one of these, but it doesn't feel good. But it actually may be better for us, so I'll do it this way. Uh, I'm actually going to leave the squid. I do like it, and I feel like it's best early game, but I'll hold off, I think. So what we're going to do is, that's going to hit hard. These are going to generate trumpets. It actually doesn't matter where they are, though, because they're start a battle, so I'll leave one at the back. And then this is going to buff that up a lot, but it won't have any trumpets to spend, because it'll be like a 7-7 instead. So I'm hoping that'll be good enough. Oh god, they gave it weakness. <laughs> oh, we got like hard counted there. Now people can make even worse teams. Trumpet pets without a way to gain trumpets. I mean, that was just the strawberry thing, like, forever ago, right? Hmm... I don't know what to do. I'd rather find a tier 4, because I feel like the tier 4s are way better than tier 3. It does depend, because there are a few tier 3s that are really cool, but... You know, like, Mustox. Let's try not to lose HP. We'll just buy that. Fully! Alright. Alright, I'm just gonna combine. It means this won't trigger, but... Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Could maybe do that, but let's look for another one of these. Uh, no. Yes! Alright. You know, it's been like two days, but so far, do you prefer weakness or ink? <laughs> it's been one day. This came out like yesterday morning. Uh, but weakness. I feel like weakness is definitely better. It depends on the build you're going for. Like, if you're going for a, I don't know, a hurt build, then you probably want weakness on the enemies instead of, sorry, you probably want ink on the enemies instead of um, weak. But I, I, I don't know, it all depends. I've only played this pack, and in this pack, I feel like ink doesn't really do that much. Weakness can do. But, again, they're both only good at, like, removing equipment more than the actual ability being good. Uh, dude, we actually do have a load of stuff for a cool trumpet build. So, I could, like, give this... <laughs> give this cherry, and then we get two cherries back, and I can give it on, like, these two. There's, like, something there. Although, instead, i probably, like, sell this and buy this and then give them both cherries. Hold on. I'm doing this. And then I'm selling this. And then I'm buying this, I'm giving that this, and then I'm probably taking this. I think I just get rid of the flea. Let's do this, and, like, do I test? This is start battle, so that one doesn't matter where it is, but I do need that in front of the Vaquitta. You didn't sleep last night, so you're not really good at math. Excuse the mistake, it's fine. I think I said something similar earlier today, that I wasn't sure how long I had um, been playing. But yeah, I'm trying to work out what I do here, because if I... I'd rather put it on here, because I don't know if... I don't care about this thing, but I don't know if it works on this one. Because, like, that gains two, that gains two, and then we should gain, like, another two from this. Hasn't it been a week? Oh, of course, yeah. I'm just going to try it. Let's see. Let's see if that works. Uh, We have we have one three. <laughs> I'm going to leave the letters. All right. So I'm hoping this gives me three. It did! Okay, that did work. 
a... Oh, wait, no, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> Never mind. It's all good. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to throw this on there, I think. I can maybe wait for something else or get rid of something, but... Let's go. Cool. See if we can make that work. Level up. Excellent. Uh, do I just, like... I want to get the level up next turn, though. Like, there's some cool tier 5s. Like, if I get the Nyala, then that is just insane. Getting another Vaquita would be cool. I don't know what the other trumpet thing is. Oh, the antelope. That's very good as well. It is very good, but you need more of a summoning team for it. Hmm. I'm just going to do it now. I said Dark Rock. Okay. We don't care anyway. Let's just save some money for next turn. Lots of things we could be rolling for next turn. You've officially been up 27 hours. Go to bed. Love it, Pokemon. Oh, God. Uh, who is this? Sir Flocky! Thank you for the two months. Very kind of you. Yeah, how is the Pokemon game? Like, I've literally seen nothing about it so far. Antelopes when they see an... An Oops? Oh. <laughs> okay, I get it. It's fun, but as bad technologically as everyone says. Are people saying it's bad? Oh no. Anyway, yeah, so we're looking for these guys. I'd probably take an antelope if I saw it. I don't know. These I feel like these things aren't doing a great job at whatever they're meant to be doing. <laughs> Alright, let's roll a bit. Yeah, we're not buying more of these. I don't care about squid. I could take slugs, and if we find a Psyger antelope, then it will be very strong. I'd rather not push for that, though. Okay, another one of these. Uh, okay, I'm going to get rid of this, and I'm going to run it like this, I think. I assume it's better to have the one with Cherry in front, but maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, uh, do let me know. <laughs> Let's I do that. The thing is, I'm combining these. I'm combining these as soon as I find a third one, so I really doubt I do that. None of these have buy abilities, so no waffle. No... Come on, I see the antelope, but yeah, no, we're not doing that. I'm just going to put this on here for now, I think. Like, it does make us a bit stronger. Yeah, I'm just going to send it like that. What are the highlights of this pack so far? Uh, Grizzly Bear is insanely overpowered, and you have to pray that you never go against it. So, toast, hello. <laughs> yeah, Grizzly Bear is very good, but it is, um... I actually haven't seen that many in the wild. Which I'm kind of surprised about. I don't know if they're getting, like, suppressed or something, but... Yeah, considering how good they are, I would have thought they'd be out more often. Alright. So, yeah, we, we really don't need that. What I need to find is another Vaquita. Then I don't even know. I, it's just this. I'm mean, like... <laughs> I could maybe get rid of that for another one of these, but then I don't really have a backline. So it won't be as good for, like, this whole interaction. Maybe I just get rid of the certain fish. Like, if I throw in another one of these in front of these, then it does scale up the stats into more than the plus 3-3. Three, three. But again, this has lower stats anyway, so who knows. I'm going to do it anyway. That oyster. <laughs> you know what? Fine. Alright. I'll split. Okay, yeah, we freeze that. I could buy it this turn, and actually I do do that, definitely. Alright. Oh, dude. Okay, I'm going all out on this. We're getting that to level 3. <laughs> I'm freezing this as well, because we're going to be combining a lot of things. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, this looks good. Hydrates? I didn't see it. You're right, there was a hydrate. Thank you. Grizzly is OP, but boring. I don't think it's boring. I think Grizzly is very fun, but it's... Oh, it's... It's annoying because, well, it's, it's boring because it's overpowered. Like, it is a fun unit. Like, you know, spammy snipes are fun. But again, it's like a guaranteed win, so it's it's not as interesting as it should be. Now, the question is, do I slap that on there so I'm not, like, wasting stuff? Probably do. Alright, so I'll do that. Warthog? Feign to give one random friend, plus one, plus one. Triggers for each two attack this has. So this can be amazing. And I've heard that it's very good with the Egyptian Vulture. But I think we're kind of locked in on a... On a, one of these builds. We have so many Vaquitas. It'd be a waste to try and like pivot to something else, I think. 
Warthog ain't good for this build. I mean, I agree, but I've never used it. You don't know why, but you really like the trumpet sounds. Sounds in the game are good. For the most part. I feel like some of the new pets do have dodgy ones, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. Uh, yeah, I'm going to roll past all of this, I think. We really don't want that. We want to get this, like, cow thing, the Nyala. And then I'd probably take a... Hmm, no. I mean, I could just throw that there. I'm definitely looking for, like, one of these as well, though. No shock. But... Yeah, Nyala takes priority. I guess I'll just buy this. I'm not going to... Oh, I guess I do buy something. <laughs> I need to not lose. So I'll throw, like, one of these in somewhere. It's, like, here. Try Cobra in the back line. For this build? It could be okay. Like, we definitely don't need this thing. <laughs> this is so strong. The Ray has a great sound. I can't even remember it. I know we had a Ray game a few games ago, but I can't... This is not in my head. So yeah, show me a level up for these guys, and then... Oh, yes. Okay. Have that. Bird of Paradise? Nah. <laughs> it is obviously very cool, but... Not here, not now. I'm going to keep this frozen. I doubt I'm going to be running... Unless I am running multiple of the quitters. Maybe I can just, like, have multiples of these, and then one Nyala. Or a, um... Highland Cow next turn. I don't know, like... Uh, I'm gonna pump it. I'm gonna see if we can make this work. <laughs> There's the Nyala. Alright, we can get rid of the Groundhog and make that work. So that is much better. This thing gets six at the start of the battle. This gets two, so... That's going to scale up much nicer for us. And it's start of battle again, so I can still leave it to the back. Not that it really matters, but I like moving it there. Something feels off from the standard design perspective, and you can't tell. What is this hat? I love it. <laughs> oh, dude, look at this. It's gonna be good. <laughs> yeah, good luck scaling. Good luck outscaling this. I think I've said there's a couple of things that I don't like the the look of. Like they don't seem to match up with the current style. But for the most part, I think it's fine. And dude, we actually have leveled it up. Alright. <laughs> Another Warthog, no. No, 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 no. Okay, German Shepherd. It's a maybe, but I don't know how to scale it. Like, I could maybe sell the stilt thing and then go for, um, pretzel scaling. It's the same with this. Like, for this to be good, I need, um, I need to scale it. <laughs> I don't have a good way to scale it. I probably should be looking to get rid of that. I think we get rid of the wolf, because I don't think that's necessary. I think this is fine, but I need a way to make it big. And I'm going to roll the food. It doesn't make a big enough difference. Let's attack. Nah. Alright. Alright, I still like where everything is, I think. Imagine a cobra behind the doggo. I mean, it's not even that good yet, because it's tiny and it's only level 1. This- wait, this isn't even the one I thought. I thought this was the, uh, the trumpet one. Oh, <laughs> God. I thought this is the dog that, um, gains shield. Yeah, it's not you. It's this one, the Wildebeest. Yeah, I, I had it backwards. <laughs> Alright. Uh, honestly, I probably try and pump this. Is that where I wait for a Highland cow? Have, the heard, have you heard the cuttlefish noise? I haven't even bought it today. I feel like it might be a xylophone or something, but... Ah, I don't know what to do with this. Like, this is fine, but if we do find a Highland Cow or two, then I'd rather have, like, two of those and start scaling that. But honestly, this, this, and this are all kind of... potentially expendable, depending on what we find. But honestly, I probably do need to invest a bit more in something like this. Alright. Uh, there is another one of those. I'd probably just get rid of... Get rid of this and play this? No, it's already bigger. So yeah, we can stack that and feel fine. Don't care about a catfish or any of these, really. Like, maybe, but it's one extra trumpet. <laughs> I don't think cherry on that really does much of a difference. Alright, you know what? We're swapping next turn. Next turn, we sell the stilt, and then I can buy this, and it's like plus 4-4. Four, four. And yeah, we'll, we'll pray that we can do something with that. It's not a xylophone, that's the stego. No, I know this! I know it is! But I, I can't remember what that sound is. I just, in my head, it sounded something like that. Also, yeah, we have, like, way too many. I need to get something in between so we're not using all of our stuff immediately. 
Also, it's a Grizzly Bear team, so we don't win. And not only do we not win, but they get to lose 3 HP. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Alright, hold on. Uh, so I think that's the last game then. Is this... Yeah, let me see what this is. A Rasta hat. Alright. There we go. That's the last thing, I think.